A Long Island community confronting allegations of racism. A neighborhood that once served as a Nazi summer camp is now being sued. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. A Suffolk County couple says that they can't sell their home because only people of German descent are allowed to buy it. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider has the story now, new at 5.30. It is an unassuming community on this quiet Suffolk County street in Yapank. The German American Settlement League played host to Nazi rallies in the 1930s, but now owns the land that encompasses about 50 quaint cottages. The only potential problem? People who own these homes must be of German extraction, according to the league's bylaws, in order to cultivate and propagate in every direction true Germanic culture, language, customs, and ideals. In all of the Almost four decades that I've been challenging discrimination on Long Island, I haven't seen this kind of situation. Michelle Santantonio is working with the Nears, a couple who doesn't want to speak publicly, but who says they haven't been able to sell their house because of the league's discrimination. They're being very courageous to come forward, and that's what it takes to challenge discrimination. Philip Near and his wife have been trying to sell this house since 2006, but they say it's next to impossible since the league's covenants restrict them. From putting up a for sale sign or even advertising. Well, you had to advertise within the community, and that's it. And uh, if somebody wanted to else come in from the outside the community, they were sponsored by that individual who knew them. August Stahl has lived here since 2008. He is of German descent and was sponsored by his brother-in-law. What do you think about the criticism that this is just an all-white neighborhood and excludes well, other isn't people? True. It isn't true because it, people can anybody can come in here, whoever wants to come in here. We did talk to a Puerto Rican woman who lives next door, but she doesn't own the home. Her mother-in-law does. The league is now facing this lawsuit from Nears. The league's president had no comment, only saying he's working to retain a lawyer. But August Stahl says with the pending lawsuit, the community is considering changing some of these restrictive rules. In Yapang, Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. And the league seeks a change to the, or rather the lawsuit, I should say, seeks a change to the league's policies as well as an unspecified amount of money.